to study today's uh, expressions and uh, idioms and the words that we are using for hanging out. So hanging out with your friends, how to express, how to ask, how to use all these idioms and expressions, traveling while you're traveling, while you are, you know, uh, uh, just being with your friends and family. So, yalla. Amshi is walk or even hang out. So when I say amshi, like Anna, amshi, I'm walking. Also, amshi means I'm leaving. So we use a word, we use a verb uh, for both meanings. So it depends on the context. That's why you have really to uh, to use well or to know which sentence that you are going to use in. So we also say like an Isa amshi. I want to just hang out. Or you can also use an Isa amshi means almost I want to leave. So that's why it depends on the context. Amshi ma, walk out or walk with. So akhrug means hang out. So the verb akhrug, hang out. Amshi, walk or hang out. So what akhrug is uh, the best uh, verb you should uh, use or you can use for the meaning to hang out, to get out. Akhrug. Also akhrug means get out or just get out from something. It doesn't have to get out from home. You can say get out from something. Uh, like I want to get out from the problem. Okay. I want to get out from the house. So you can use, you know, either way. So I want to hang out with my male friend. I want to hang out with my girlfriend. Uh, I want to hang out with my um, with my family, you just say hang out. That's it. So hang out is ma. Preposition means with. So you say ma. If you just say ahug itself, it's enough because it means I want to hang out. Okay. Um, so sometimes also use the verb at masha. At masha just literally means walking, not like amshi or at masha same. But at masha is means like. It's kind of slow walking, you know. So also say at masha sometimes. We have also verb at fasah and at fasah, same like akhuk. Fasah also means hang out and spend more time uh, outside, like outdoor. So spend time outdoor at fasah. So at fasah. How to say stay at home? Some of us don't like to get out and like to stay at home. Like you know, sometimes I like that too, and I've had the command. So you say, "Out fil beat." In classical Arabic, "Aglis fil beat." "Aqad" also in classical, but we use in Egyptian "out, out." So "out fil fundu," stay at hotel. "Out fil beat," stay at home. "Out fil all," stay at the room. So "out" it's stay or sit. Both meanings of that's why we can also use. In, you know, it depends on the context. You can say out fi il Giza, I stay in Giza. But if you are talking about something specifically like a seat, al ba'al al kursi, sit on the seat. So out is sit or stay. Okay, so we have some places that hanging out places we say amakin il fusha, which is like parks, like um, like. Ginina, for example, this is park. We have park, Ginina, or Hadiqa in classical Arabic. Uh, also, you have uh, mools, which is very many also in Egypt. If you if you ever come to Egypt, we have Mool of Arab, the Arab Mool, or, you know, Six Stars. We have so many mools, you know. I cannot mention all of them, for sure, because many of you already know them. So, Mool, El Mool, we say in Arabic as well, like in English. Ginina, which is parks, and also you can see uh, the Nile River, sure. Uh, El Aramat, the pyramids, uh, for sure, as you know, Abu Hol, where, you know, same sphinx is close and next to the pyramids. And so you have so many places that you hang out, so let us know in the comment section or YouTube or uh, wherever you're watching us from, where would you like to spend your time, or if you ever come to Egypt, which place that you like to visit or spend more time by yourself or even with your family. So how to say by yourself? That's a good one. 
wahdi. So you can say, like before we say, amshi wahdi. I want to hang out by myself. I want to just walk by myself, which is, you know, it's very fun as well, by the way. Um, fun in Arabic is mumta, boring mumel. So I hope I'm very interesting and fun for you. So mumta, so my course is also fun. I hope so. So we say mumta. Mumta can be used for humans, like you talk to about, like Ahmed Mi, for example, Ahmed Mumta. Ahmed is a very interesting person. But, well, unfortunately, it can be Mumel. I can be Mumel. Maybe sometimes. Ahyanam. Who knows? So we say that to uh, people who can also use that for objects like film. Mumta. It's a very amusing movie. If you go to cinema, like I go to cinema, go to the cinema, so you can watch a very fun movie, interesting movie, Mumta, and also it can be Mumel. So, Mazika Mumta, because it's feminine, Mazika Mumel. So, all this course and even more, we are going to provide for you online on Zoom. You have Arabic language courses A1 and A2. We have also uh, audiobook CDs starting from at uh, very discounted fees, you can subscribe at our education platform. Also, you can join us on our online courses on Zoom. We have also all our courses. You can download them from our bookstore, bookstore.ilarabicacademy.com. You also can check out our education platform, www.ilarabicacademy.com. Click on Learn up in there. You have wonderful access to our education platforms for video, audio lessons. If you have a very busy schedule, Sure, we would love you to come to join our one-on-one -on -one classes or even group classes. All are fun, all are monta get done, and you will never um, feel that you're wasting your time. It's an amazing investment. Check them out. We have other workshops. We have a lot of courses. We are waiting for you. That was Ahmed Swifi. Have a wonderful day. Salam. Yom Momta. Bye-bye.